M0FXB, so new firmware for the Alens HD1 version 2.24 and version 1.79. So you have to download them both. Watch the rest. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So you want to look up the firmware version on your Alens HD1. All you do is go menu, menu, then go straight down to the very bottom. And there's version. Click confirm. And then there's your version number. I'm on 1.7.8 GPS. And there is a new one, which is 1.7.9 GPS. Bye for now. M0FXB. So there is a new firmware called 1.7.9 and also 2.24. And I'm, mine's a GPS. So you've got two lots of things to download. One is the 2.24, which is the programming software. Just click that. You'll get a, uh, a zip, un unzip it, send it to a folder where you're going to find it. I've named a folder. Then you want the firmware updater again, HD1 GPS version. You want, click that, you get a second thing, send it all to a folder. So let's have a look at the folder I've got. So here's mine here, firmware 2A, and everything's in here that we're going to need. We've got the updater and the actual programming software, which I've already opened up, and it looks like that. So make sure you make a backup of your existing code plug. So we're going to turn the radio off and then push the PTT and the button beneath it. Right. So that's uh, the PTT and the button directly underneath. And when we do that, the radio will start to ha have a red flashing LED. So turn it off. The USB lead is connected and I'll show you the COM port in a sec. Let's push the PTT button beneath. Channel mode four. If it comes on, then uh, you need to go like so. Sorry, it's quite fiddly. Right, it's now flashing that red. We'll check our device manager. Right click, device manager. COM port and we're on 10 as it says there. Now we're going to go to our files and we're going to double click firmware update. Click yes. And it's saying it's already installed on your system. I'm just going to click yes because it's not. I'll close that. I'll just run this through. I've already done this. So, okay. Let's get the updater we've got here. We're going to go COM10. Then we hit connect. Then it's get version. It should say 1.7.8. Now it keeps saying 1.7.8 and that is already on my radio. So I, I don't really want to update it if it's already had it. Um, but should we risk it anyway? It says here version 1. It's a bit confusing that I'm seeing. I look at the bottom here, it says 1.7.9. Ah, so that's, that must be the version that's already up there, on there. That's what that means, the version that's on there. Now I click update and then we let it complete. Seems to be working. So is there a change log? Here's some change log here. Let's double tick, double click it. Firmware change log. Solve the problem that the keyboard cannot be unlocked after receiving a SMS message. So it's not really. Someone has asked me in my on my channel, is it even worth it? Well, not really much. Now, there's another thing here. Solve the unstable or missing reception caused by easy interfer interference occasionally so it's two change logs and that would be a, a problem wouldn't it so basically that's how you update your firmware i'm just waiting to see if 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 it does wipe the radio now they do say you should initialize the radio afterwards by what you do you hold down the menu button and the exit button turn the radio off hold down menu and exit here Turn on the radio and it will sort of reboot the radio, reinitialize it, reset it. 
I've noticed that when I did that, it didn't get rid it didn't clear my CSV file, which is quite nice. So it says update successful. So let's have a quick look and see if that's showing on the actual radio. So we'll turn it off. Turn it back on. And then we'll go menu. All the way down to the bottom. Version. 1.7.9. So I'm happy with that. And let's exit. Yeah, it looks like my code plug. My code plug's still there. So I hope this helps you update your firmware to 1.7.9. 7.3, all the best.